Andrew Marchand is a rat. There is no doubt Pat McAfee's tenure with ESPN has been entertaining, yet simultaneously troubling. Famous sports writer Greg Doyle has a bone to pick with the sleeveless ex-punter because of instances such as this. I'm 40 hour, 48 hours in, and I consulted with a now good friend of mine, Joe Rogan. I'm thankful for people like Joe stepping up and using their voice. And this. If, if like we learned, if science is Dr. Fauci, you damn right I'm the science. Right. And this. Mr. Pfizer said he didn't think he would be in a vax war with me. Oh boy. Didn't get a back score with me. This ain't a war, homie. This is just conversation. But if you want to have some sort of uh, duel, debate, what is have me on the podcast. I'm going to take my man, RFK Jr. Okay. <laughs> okay. As yes. an independent. Hell yeah. Right? And he can mm -hmm. have, you know, Tony Fauci or oh. some other farmer crap. And we can have a conversation about this. Okay. And this, where he ripped Travis Kelsey. Doyle, a longtime media member, sees through it and has called out Rogers, McAfee, and ESPN in his column. You know, I think there's some sentiment that there's some sort of moral victory out there that we hung with the, you know, with the champs and, and that, uh, you know, our defense played well and, and you know, uh, Pat didn't have a crazy game. And, uh, you know, Mr. Pfizer, we kind of shut him down a little bit. He didn't have, you know, his, like, crazy impact game obviously he had you know some yards and stuff but i felt like for the most part you know we played really tough on defense especially the last three quarters because he can't stand seeing this anymore here's what he wrote every tuesday rogers emerges from his rat hole and looks around smugly enjoying the smell of his own breath and says something really really stupid about vaccines and because we live in this cult of fame liking and believing and even electing people only because they're rich or famous people believe rogers so he's out there every tuesday saying something that makes us less safe it's because as Awful Announcing put it, Rodgers went from the thinking man's quarterback to an anti-vax buffoon, allotted time on McAfee's show to ramble about life-saving medications with zero pushback whatsoever, even if the information he was offering was at best misguided and at worst harmful, Pen Sean Keeley. Doyle has worked in the Indianapolis market for decades at this point, even doing radio shows with a former Colts player named... Pat McAfee. They have somewhat of a history, one can say, which makes his article even more of a must read. He'd write, McAfee is allowing and enabling Rodgers to spew misinformation. He'd bring up McAfee being found to pay the quarterback more than a million dollars to appear on his show. And third, according to Doyle, McAfee doesn't believe Rodgers for a minute. Doyle, it becomes quite evident, lays the blame at McAfee's feet for all all of this. Rodgers was a four-time MVP with the Packers, but his anti-vax gibberish makes him a harmful member of the human race. McAfee lets it happen, Doyle wrote. Rodgers has done McAfee's career a huge service by appearing on his show. Pat was going to take off regardless because he's that good, but Rodgers' appearance put booster fuel into the rocket ship. And not to be misremembered, this was first taken on by a longtime NFL media member, named Mike Freeman. Pat McAfee is getting a massive pass for allowing Aaron Rodgers to spread disinformation and lies that could lead to people dying, he tweeted. McAfee would reply, you're not picking and choosing what to report from my show in an attempt to mislead people, are you? That'd be a style of misinformation, right? You were probably saving the world at the time, but how come you didn't cover this with a video of Charles Barkley? I've been taking monoclonal antibodies, ivermectin, zinc, vitamin C and D, HCQ, and I feel pretty incredible. Okay, so you said a lot there. Doyle then ends his piece with this. Unlike Rogers and people of his ilk, people who think they're the smartest guy in the room, McAfee is the smartest guy in the room. He also was born with a second serving of empathy. He's a good man with a good heart, Pat McAfee. He understands vaccines are the only reason the war is over, the only reason the good guys won. The biggest and most important questions Doyle poses in his piece are these. Why is ESPN allowing this? And why is Pat McAfee a willing accomplice?